I'm telling you, the back seat is a place to be, especially with that, uh, with the, with the roof. Yeah, I'm getting, get rid of this. I felt like there was another tree here. I can't see. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's try to get out of here carefully. So we don't. It's not like anybody owns a truck at the moment. So. <laughs> Just dealers that could sue us, you know. <laughs> no big deal. Actually, I have to move my seat a little bit closer. There we go. You. Yeah. <laughs> How do I miss you turning on the heated seat every time? Big shout out to Bruce Woodring Auto here in Henderson, Kentucky for giving us access to today's car that we're going to review. You can find them online at brucewoodringauto.com or stop by and talk to my friend Sabino. He'll be glad to assist you. Welcome back to Get to Know Cars. I'm Chris and boy did we luck out today as we were reviewing our Dodge, our, our Dodge Ram and our Chevy Silverado. This happened to come up on the lot. This is a 2023 Toyota Tundra 1794 edition 4x4 short bed and oh my goodness is it breathtaking absolutely gorgeous vehicle we've got a three point liter V6 putting out 389 horsepower 479 pound feet of torque 10 speed automatic and you got a zero to 60 time a little under six seconds which is uh, quite impressive and we could kind of feel a little bit, bit of that power as we were driving to the filming location. Also, an interesting note is the hood. Um, it doesn't seem to go up as high as you would think it would, um, which makes it very convenient to, to close because these big trucks are tall and there's still a lot of short people in the world. So this is, this is quite convenient. Um, <laughs> comments can get me for this one. <laughs> no, 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 okay. All right, I'm just gonna add all of yeah, that. Yeah, that is good. good. <laughs> Love this brushed aluminum look to the grill. I mean, it's not actually metal, but uh, what what grills are anymore? But a lot of manufacturers have these really big grills. Some of them are questionable. This, they nailed it. It is gorgeous. Up inside the grill, we have active grill shutters right up in here. They will open and close as the vehicle. Uh, needs air. We have our radar system right here, right above our chromed out uh, Tundra. This does your uh, like adaptive cruise control, pre-collision, all of that. We have LED fog lamps as well as LED headlights. We do have sensors all over the truck though, as well as cameras. The camera system is phenomenal on here. Here's our gorgeous LED headlights. Uh, we've got LED running lights, and we do have functional vents right here along the side. Coming around, as opposed to having those really basic, cheap, pl uh, black plastic look, we kind of have this uh, kind of like a dark gray, silverish look, but it has that pearl in it, same pearl that you see in the paint itself, and it really pops, especially uh, in the sunlight. Absolutely gorgeous. We've got 20 inch alloy wheels. They look fantastic with the body style of this truck. Coming around we have our 1794 edition badging which is very cool. We do have keyless uh, lock and unlock so we put our hand in here. Our mirrors will fold out. They're power folding. They've got blind spot um, alert power adjustable, all the good stuff. Kind of got that chrome accent on it. And if we open the door, we will see that our side step comes popping out for us. And it comes out pretty quick, so it doesn't waste much time. I really like that. Coming around to the fuel door, which uh, does not lock. And you are gonna have a cap for refueling. This is where Probably not on camera so much, but in the sunlight, the pearl in this paint, it just pops. Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. I love on our chromed out exhaust tips that we have the Toyota badge. I think that's pretty cool. We have 
are really nice. These tail lights really caught my attention when they redesigned these uh, last year. These tail lights, the, the three lights, they are I, they're stunning. I think they look fantastic. I have our four x four badging. Uh, badging. We have our Tundra here. We have our chromed out Toyota here. We've got backup cameras. We've got a bed camera up there at the top. We've got our receiver here. More sensors. Some chrome accents. All really cool. So many different colors and accents going on. We have a spare tire uh, up underneath, which is also really fantastic. We have our connectivity here with our four and seven pin connectors. If we let the tailgate down, which you can do right here underneath the Toyota uh, badge there, or we have a little button right here next to the tail light. We'll push that. It will let the tailgate down and our little step right there will pop out. Now, Tyler and I differ a little bit on the uh, electronic step that comes out. I would actually just rather have the built-in bumper step as opposed to a mechanical component that could eventually break and you'll have to have fixed. The liner in here, we also notice, is very, it's very gritty. It's, it's, I mean, it's hard. You would not want to uh, crawl around on your bare hands and knees in here for very long. It's like sandpaper, but that would be good for grip and it's gonna be good for uh, protecting the back of the truck. We have some tie down points uh, all around as well as some uh, movable points up here. We have uh, lighting on each side of the bed and we have a three prong outlet right here, which is always nice to have on a truck. And unfortunately on uh, this one anyway, we do not get the power sliding rear window, but that's okay because we're getting ready to go to the inside where you're going to see the amazing panoramic sunroof that this thing really has. And here we are at the interior and this is truly what takes the cake for this truck. It is just, it, it's breathtaking truly. Starting with the door panels, you have more of a high-end finish with the stitching, with the multi-colors. You got some of the, the walnut wood up in there, which is really nice. We have our window adjustments, of course, side mirror adjustments, all that good stuff. We have two slots for memory settings for the driver and maybe a little bit smaller uh, storage compartment than you normally see on a truck of this size just because it's not very deep. Uh, but you do have a couple of nice spots there for some drinks, which is convenient. Uh, and you got a little ledge in here that I guess you could maybe store a few things, maybe some pocket change or something. I, I don't know. We got 10 way power adjustable seats and uh, four way lumbar support. We have uh, right here, we have our thigh extension. Yeah, you get the uh, the Osmo is kind of hard to, to work sometimes <laughs> we have uh, right here We have our thigh extension piece right here So give you some comfort on your thighs if you want to you can't you can't I've never seen this on a truck Usually you see it on like uh, the German vehicles Because mm -hmm. uh, two of my German cars had it and it's something that I, I never used um, Never used at all <laughs> Coming uh, inside um, to the left of the steering wheel, we do have some buttons uh, for, for auto start and stop. And uh, so far we have heated steering wheel as well, which is a nice touch. Coming inside, we have these, I mean, the beautiful, <clears throat> this beautiful uh, leather on these seats is just, it's truly staggering. Coming inside, we'll start it up and bring this uh, puppy to life. And of course, I guess it's got <laughs> memory settings for Tyler. That way it, uh, crushes me to death oh it's these it's the heated it's the cooled seats <laughs> um speaking of that we do have heated and cooled seats not just in the front though just wait we have a 12.3 inch fully digital gauge cluster um all controllable uh here from the uh everything on the steering wheel there you go we can scroll through different settings and so forth. We have a massive, I mean, it's like a small television in here, 14 inch center touchscreen. Now this is a brand new car. It looks like it hasn't been fully set up yet. So we won't, we won't do anything with it or anything to it. We're, we're lucky that we were, had the chance to even come out in this vehicle and spend some time with it. But it's really, really cool. You got wireless charging, 
uh, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And of course, uh, for your climate controls and stuff, you do have physical buttons that you can still use um, for that. And it is dual zone climate uh, on each side, so you can adjust up, down, however you want on each side. Um, all right. Here we got our backup camera. We've got a full 360 view, and there is different ways you can uh, manipulate the cameras. There's kind of like a front view and so forth, uh, each of your sides. You have a, uh, there's our bed camera, so you can see what's back in the bed. Looks like there's actually some stuff back there. I didn't didn't uh, didn't realize that. So, so I mean, it, it's pretty cool. This this has a lot of stuff, um, kind of the, like like what I saw on my Mercedes. Like Tyler pointed out, I don't have the option where I can manipulate and drag the camera around the vehicle uh, like I could in that. That was that was pretty cool. But this is a an amazing system uh, for a truck. We have USB ports, uh, electronic parking brake. Uh, right down here is where we can change it into four wheel drive if we want, four high, four low, and we can change our drive mode or put it into tow haul. And when we change our drive mode. So we change our drive modes right here with this little wheel. Wheel feels good, um, feels good to turn. It's got a really nice, uh, nice click to it. Um, and we can see here on the on the gauge cluster, we have normal, sport, and an eco mode, which is kind of interesting for a truck. Usually you see different drive modes, like just more on cars. Um, so it's kind of kind of cool that that this has that. So so I do want to mention. I really like the uh, the gear selector. Tyler and I both really like it. Perfect shape, fits the hand, easy to use. It, it's perfect, 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 perfect. Normally you don't see this type of shifter in a truck though, so uh, that's actually pretty cool. The this walnut wood uh, continues through, really cool to reveal your cup holders right here. I love it. The the woodwork is gorgeous. I mean, we've got like three different colors going on here with the with the leather and the stitching two-tone leather and the wood got a small little compartment here store a little, some notes or something a little cubby here some cup holders right here uh, for your backseat passengers or if you just need some extra space this right here slides back to reveal um, a, a pretty deep um, little compartment right here and we can actually come around right here push the button and open the entire thing to reveal a very uh, large storage area. We have our USB, USB-C, and I believe this is a coin mm -hmm. organizer. It's uh, you got some removable uh, parts depending on how you want to use this. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. My favorite part about being in this truck, though, is just the overall design. Like I said, you look at the uh, the two different colors and there's different color schemes it's not always this like a you know brownish uh, color you got the woodwork with the 1794 uh, etched in there really nice the the vents look really cool how they're kind of chromed out just so many different accents in here really gives it a high-end feel um, Tyler's got our uh, mirror here opened up for such a big visor it is a small mirror but we do get a mm -hmm. uh, a light for it which is very nice and i would assume yep we get the same thing on the driver's side which is very nice our uh we got our dome light options up here uh we can just leave that in the middle for when the door is open we got a spot here for some sunglasses and then we have options here to open our panoramic roof which is just awesome looking out here it's got a nice tent to it so you don't have to worry about a sunburn or something like that although there is um, a shade right here so if you don't want any sun at all you can just close that I think for now though we uh, will leave that open because it's just too nice of a day not to enjoy it uh, coming over here before we go into the back we have our glove box and look at this they help you stay organized you got these different levels where you can kind of stack things on top of each other then you got a little cubby over there helps keep you organized that's pretty cool and welcome to the back seat um, 
first of all we'll just kind of start at the door panel we still have the same design continuing back here with the different colors and the stitching um, pretty much the same very similar amount of storage as you have in the front We've got our speakers part of the 12 speaker jbl system that this truck has we have sun shades which is an interesting feature um, for a truck sun shades for your uh, backseat passengers which is pretty nice really nice uh, leather continuing back here we have pockets in the back of the seats and we have a good amount of amenities biggest one being we have heated and cooled seats for your back seat passengers that is awesome we have connectivity with your usbs and a three prong uh, 120 volt these floor mats i love these floor mats how they're kind of uh rubber but then they have the cloth in between them and then they have 1974 metallic pieces in the corners holding that fabric in and that's that's really cool really really cool uh design element uh right in here we've got a fold down armrest with a couple of cup holders although your back seat passengers could use the ones right back here uh, on the back of the center console if they wanted to your rear seats do fold up it looks to be about a 60 40 split um, you just pull up now these are thick seats and it's not as not quite as easy as you find in some other trucks you kind of have to kind of have to slam it up there to get it to hold but uh, you do have nice storage up under here it really goes down in here we got uh, some stuff from toyota first aid kit there's a little strap tyler will demonstrate on his side you just pull that to let the seats back down and of course i don't think we're gonna have any room or have any issue uh with space back here and i have to say sitting back here there is still plenty of headroom and looking out through this panoramic roof especially right now in the spring mid-april we see the leaves starting to bloom on these trees what a gorgeous view i can't imagine just going on a road trip and riding back here and being able to look out uh, at the sky and as, as you go absolutely beautiful the backseat passengers will get to enjoy this roof more than anyone and i if i was the one driving i would kind of envy them for that all right it is chris and tyler we are going to take the tundra for a drive before i do i do just want to show you the key fob and i want to take it out of this uh, since it's getting ready to go to another dealer but uh, all your buttons are on one side as well as your toyota badge uh leaving the back of it pretty blank but uh, overall not a not a bad key fob it's a it's a good spot to be in the very back uh it's very spacious um I just look at you in the from in the camera here. You just look so comfy back there. I don't. I have no issue with legroom. I'm five ten. Uh, we may have issue with wind noise because all of the windows are open. All the windows are open. Uh, yeah. But comfortable. Would I like a little bit more? I would like a little bit more spot for my arm on my right on the outside by the windows. But in the middle, I've got the uh, middle console down, which I do not understand why any vehicle would have a back seat that didn't have a center armrest. I know, it's crazy that so many of them don't, so I love that they incorporated that. It, it's such a simple thing, but for a long trip, a short trip, having some place just to rest your arm feels so comfortable and so natural. I wouldn't not want to have it. No, I, I completely agree. I think it's amazing how many things come standard on the 1794 edition, you know, with the climate-controlled seats back there and everything. I mean, it's are you running them now? I am, yeah. Uh, can I tell that they're active? Mm, it's going to take it a minute. Maybe just a hair. It's going to take it uh, a minute. We just left. <laughs> no, this is nice. I, I'm actually getting more enjoyment. And I shouldn't say this because I, I should be paying attention more to the road. Watching you sit back there because that, that's almost where I want to be. You just sit back there even when the car is really nice. sitting still. You're like, man, this is a nice place. And an another nice little feature <laughs> on the format on the borders instead of having just a regular just kind of your border piece it's emulated to look like rope so you're out on your cattle ranch you've got rope out there okay and on the floorboard there is the rubber simulation of rope which is nice which is nice it's nice it's a little detail that showed someone cared there was thought put into it besides throw something throw what we have already in there 
But yeah, very spacious back here. You see uh, my driving back. position, I mean, is, is good. I've got excellent visibility. That's that's not a problem. The, the one thing that keeps throwing me off is every time I look over this way, I, I swear, it feels like a television in, in the center of this dash. Yep. It is massive. It's, it's truly impressive for a truck. For me, I enjoy the back seat seat better than the front seat. Where your rear sets, because it's flat, there's no bol un uneven bolstering, uh, where I did not enjoy the driver's seat that much. I do enjoy the back seat. And I do not know... And for those who are just normal and, and not Tyler, the front seats are fine. They're fine. They There's nothing be wrong They with could them. be better. They could be better. <laughs> Something could always be better. <laughs> I, I couldn't complain. We looked at the window sticker. Uh, MSRP for this one specifically with all the options was about 67 Um and they're and not I mean, going for MSRP. They're going to go for above that. But the reality is you're paying 70 something thousand dollars for this. I have to say, yes, it's a lot of money. All trucks are costing a lot of money these days. But what you get with this one, at as opposed it, to any other one I've been in, at least this it is feels it. like money. It, 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 it does. It feels like there was, there was money. You can see where dollars were spent. Yes. Oh. And if you're not looking at the outside of the truck, if we were just at a camera angle where you could just see the interior, no badging, I mean, I would honestly think that we were looking into like a higher end luxury SUV or something. I mean, it, it is luxury in here. And that's, we're saying that about a Toyota, a Toyota Tundra. Right. I would be, I would be curious to see what this compared to like as a, at a, at a base level. I will say, uh, we know the acceleration is really good. I mean, for a 3.4 liter V6, acceleration is fantastic, especially that zero to 60 time. I think it's actually lands somewhere around maybe 5.7 seconds. That's impressive for a truck. Uh, and braking uh, seems really good on it. It's got some good brakes. I'm curious to you, uh, hopefully hopefully the, the parking lot's a little <laughs> oh, more open. <laughs> See me scratch every vehicle in here while as I pull in. <laughs> We're very appreciative to Bruce Woodring here in Henderson, Kentucky. If your automotive yeah. needs, they can get you covered. They can. They so. always have changing inventory. Be sure to check them out, BruceWoodringAuto.com. Thank you so much for giving us time with this vehicle. Um, I've been Tyler. <laughs> You've been Tyler. No, you are Tyler. I, You're Tyler. I'm Chris. I may be Tyler of the future, <laughs> but I have been him. Uh, thank you for joining us. Stay safe, have fun, put the pedal down, and we will see you next time. Drive it fast. Not drive it like you stole it? <laughs>